A frequent and perfectly valid criticism about electric cars is that the power used to charge them comes from the national grid. We generate a lot of electricity by burning coal and gas. Burning coal is the dirtiest way of making electricity. Everyone knows that. No one disputes it except the Koch brothers in America, but they should be ignored as much as possible. It's one of the arguments Mr. Clarkson always cites. This is a coal-powered car, he says as he drives a Nissan Leaf. Uh, true, you can power electric cars from any kind of electricity, but between 30 and 40% of our electricity still comes from coal and gas. So, is Mr Clarkson correct? Sort of. One of the facts that is never mentioned by car manufacturers, the oil industry, the current government, and indeed Mr Clarkson, is that we use a bit of electricity to refine crude oil. In fact, quite a lot of electricity. OK, so much electricity that the oil industry has gone to great lengths to keep the figures out of the public domain. They no longer release the figures, but they did up until 2005. Thankfully, these figures were recorded by the United Nations Statistics Division. Now, it's important to point out that the refining process doesn't only produce petrol, diesel and jet fuel. It also produces tonnes of hydrogen and a myriad of gases and chemicals used in fertilisers, pharmaceuticals and plastics. When I visited an oil refinery to make an episode of Channel 5's How Do They Do It? series, I noticed this huge substation next to the car park when I arrived. Here's an illustration of the thickness of my brain. I said to the camera crew, I didn't know refining oil generated electricity. Uh huh? I was later disabused of this notion when the head of engineering at the refinery explained proudly that we use more electricity in a year than Coventry and Leicester combined. Yes, that's quite a lot of electricity. But how much, I hear you ask? Well, hang on a minute. Very importantly, these big UK refineries use so much electricity that they have their own dedicated feed from the nearest power station. In all three cases, the nearest power stations are coal-powered, so they are using the dirtiest form of electricity to refine the dirtiest form of fuel. No critic of electric cars ever mentions this rather glaring fact. In 2005, the most recent year that figures are available, the three big refineries in the UK used 5,600 gigawatt-hours of electricity to refine oil. That's five and a half billion kilowatt-hours. The best guess of the amount of electricity needed to refine one gallon of petrol is somewhere around 4.5 kilowatt-hours. That electricity has to come from somewhere. Just to put the figures into some sort of context, five and a half billion kilowatt-hours is enough to charge over 23 million electric cars to drive just short of 20 trillion miles. As Elon Musk of Tesla Motors said, we'd have plenty of electricity to power electric cars if we just stopped refining oil. So when it says 120 grams of CO2 per kilometre in the car advert, just remember there's been a little bit of CO2 produced before we get to the forecourt pump. Let's go.